Welcome back to another video. This is part two of um, this Astra convertible. We're getting her back on the road. She's failed the MIT. So this is part two. In this video, we're hoping to see if the car runs and moves. If she runs, we're going to get her to move under her own power. So we'll do that. Then I think the first real job we want to tackle are those brake lines. They're probably the most um, important and difficult to access, so we'll get those done. And uh, whatever we, any little jobs we can get them done in between, we'll get them done. So, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and uh, welcome back to part two. Yeah, it's close, it's close to 13. This battery should have no problems in cranking the car over. And uh, depends how long it takes. If it starts very really quickly, then... so first job is um, get the battery on, see if this car runs, starts, runs, and moves under her own power. We'll get the battery on right now. On with the positive terminal first, and then the negative as we've just charged the battery. And the battery is on. I don't think the car needs easy start, but we're going to have a little squirt anyway. Do you think she will turn over? Do you think she'll start straight up or take a while? Come on, have a guess. We're about to find out. Absolutely straight away, not even any coughing, splitting, just straight away.
well, I'm going to get up on the ramps and um, try and discover or find. So, sorry, we found out where they were in the last episode, part one. So, we're going to get under the car now and actually um, sort out the brake lines going to the rear. The engine sounds really sweet, really smooth. Gonna check what works, what don't work. Let's have a quick, quick look, quick assess what's going on. See if we need to fix anything else. So, we're down in the car, we're going to start sanding these brake lines back to see how bad they are. You know, if they've got strength in them, they're strong enough, um, and they're not too corroded, you know, we, we can get away with spraying them. But if they are really bad, then we've got no choice but to replace them. So, we'll find out after we've sanded it down a bit. So far, they're really not looking too bad, just a bit of surface rust, you know, so I think we, we'll carry on and have a look in, in a minute.
Well, this brake line, a pipe, looks absolutely perfect. Nothing wrong with that part there. There is a slightly more darker shade further down. It looks, it does look much worse on camera. It doesn't look that, that bad uh, when you're under the car. But they're all painted now, so they should be fine. There's plenty of strength in them, but they're not gonna start leaking anytime soon onto the front. I'm going to start sanding here with 120 grit. It's quite aggressive, but I think it's just right to get the coating off of these brake lines. So, this is already looking better, but we're going to keep going so we get a perfectly smooth checker for damage. Any pinholes, so that'll be dangerous. And if it is dangerous, we just need to go ahead and replace it. So, I'm going to keep sanding and checker. It's a little hard to reach. At this point, we're not trying to hide any corrosion. We're trying to see how bad the corrosion is. So far, we have a solid pipe. Always give him a pull. And tug and wiggle. Been standing on there not too long. Oh well, this is how she's starting to look. It's gonna focus. So we have a 
very smooth, nice uniform pipe. No leaking. I think that's job done, there's no corrosion, there was no pitting, there was nothing dangerous about that pipe, just flaky covering that they put on at the factory and of course 20 odd years later it's going to come off, it doesn't stay on there forever, but the pipe itself is uh, absolutely fine, so I'm going to call that job done, we'll move on to something else. There window wipers now so I don't know if you can see that but we've got the Bosch long life rubber quick clip okay so get these on just wash the car and a bird I've actually done a turd but what can you do So, just going to remove and install the new wipers now. They just clip off and clip on as it states, easy clip. And we're going to replace them like for like. I believe the longer side goes on the driver's side and the shorter side goes on the passenger side. At the end of this clip, I'm going to add in a clip to remind you all of what the window wipers were like. So, just so, just, just, just basically to remind you of the state of the window wipers and why we're changing them. So, girls, guys, YouTubers, that just about completes this episode on part two of getting his Ash Convertible back on the road. Sorry, that's, that's, that's my neighbour. Anyway, um, so we've done the brake lines, we've done the windscreen wipers, two of the main jobs, but that's going to conclude this video for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to come back, part three. I'll catch you again soon.